Alberto Cogliani, welcome back to Nature of Reality Radio. I'm giving you this opportunity to speak on my show because you reached out to me. And, well, frankly, uh, I'm kind of glad you did reach out to me because I haven't really been able to reach out to anybody. I apologize to all my fans, my radio fans out there. As many, some of you probably know, I've gone through a lot in the past few months. Um, had to miss work because of carpal tunnel syndrome, which fortunately I don't need surgery, but it's gonna, it has sidelined me for manual labor. And, um, well, I thought I was going to be working at Sonic Drive Through, <laughs> getting back to the fast food business. Uh, even though I don't need fast food, it would have been nice just to work there to make a little money, but unfortunately that didn't work out. I did my first day on October 26th, and since then, since my first day, they haven't called me back to come in. It seems like they have every excuse from, we can't find anyone to train you to uh, get this. You don't speak Spanish, and that makes it hard for us to work with you. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day in America where someone would have difficulty finding work because people at, at businesses speak Spanish and not English. Can you believe that's the way this world has come to? <laughs> but um, that seems to be the case. So I wasn't scheduling shows because I didn't know what my schedule was going to be. And, um, well, at this point, I'm just going to assume that Sonic is not going to want me and is going to tell me we, we made a mistake hiring you. We can't fit you into our into our crowded schedule. So I'm just going to start reaching out to guests. I do have a, a, get another guest in April shortly after the Eclipse Day to discuss the Contact in the Desert conference, basically a promo show. But we'll have some info. But thank you for coming out, and I will be getting back on the air reaching out to guests. My apologies to all my fans. But it's great that you come on to talk about things, um, humanity's future. I did uh, prep for this interview. I'm glad to say I listened to the interview you, you did with Alfred Weber um, talking about how 2024 is going to be rough. But the years after that, we're expecting some uh, great things to come. Makes sense, considering that this year in November will be the end of the Pluto and Capricorn cycle. Um, well, I'll let you do the talking. So I've babbled long enough. Alberto, you got the floor. Why don't you uh, tell us what, what it is that made you decide to reach out to me to come back on this show? We'll uh, talk for about half an hour. Um, if you want to go longer, fine. But uh, this whole interview, by the way, will be free for everybody just because I've been off for so long. No Patreon subscribers needed. So uh, knock yourself out, Alberto. You got the floor. Thank you very much. Welcome, you all. Uh, peace be with you. Uh, I already had a talk with Andrew a couple of years ago. I have talked with uh, Alfred Weber, uh, and I told Alfred, and if you see actual politics, Alberto uh, Cogliani, the future of humanity, uh, that uh, through 30 years of meditation techniques, mantra, visualization, purification, austerities, uh, I did 30 years with the, one of the greatest masters on the planet, Baba Ganapati, and I have achieved myself uh, one certain level of spiritual enlightenment. There are many levels, and my master confirmed it. And now I teach in Italy. I have a school, and I have 20, 30 groups of meditation all over Italy. And I, one of the capabilities that I have is that I can see the Akasha. The Akasha is the a timeline, what you call the future, which is already here. So I can see the Akasha and I can tell you what is going to happen because I perceive it very clearly. And I tell you immediately that everything is going to change on this planet. In the next six to 10 years, we will be completely another planet, completely another planet if we will shift jump ahead five thousand years in the next six to ten years yes we will do five thousand years it would be like from prehistory to now we will do the same so in the next six to ten years and we will have uh, all this I give you now the information that I that I received in meditation. My for information is fundamental at this time, and it must reach millions of people. And I and I tell you, first of all, there can be no nuclear war, impossible. No nuclear war on planet Earth, never ever. It's impossible. There cannot be a world war, impossible. It will never happen. There cannot be a new virus. Impossible. 
uh, the soul of planet Earth has said that it will no longer accept nuclear weapons, nuclear explosions, or viruses on its body. So the guides of the planet have given extraterrestrials the karmic permission to stop and disactivate every nuclear weapon and stop any nuclear explosion. We have changed timeline and we will enter the new era without the apocalypse, without Armageddon. All the negative prophecies of the past, like Nostradamus, are cancelled, completely cancelled. They will not happen. We have shifted timeline in 1987 with the harmonic convergence. And we have entered a completely new timeline. All the bad timelines have been canceled. <coughs> so we will, we are in new timeline, which uh, uh, brings ascension. It goes into ascension. So the only timeline now from 2012 is the timeline where we experience ascension of the planet. 2027, first contact with the extraterrestrials. 2029, ascension of mother humanity and planet Earth into fifth dimension. From 2029, we will be 5,000 years, 10,000 years more advanced than we are now. We will all be uh, clairvoyant and lighter. Now, there are three hundred million extraterrestrials incarnated on planet Earth to help. And of these, 50,000 come from the solar system. A wave of love is about to arrive on Earth, a wave of love, and it will sub-grow, sub it will uh, submerge or eliminate all negativities and establish heaven on Earth. Uh, Christ is about to return to Earth. This time he will not use the body of Jesus, but he will use uh, his etheric body. Jesus has been incarnated in Syria since the 60s and is keeping the fire, the, the uh, dangerous situation in the Middle East under control. And he said that in case of emergency, he will show himself to the world. The forces of light have won on Earth. The light has won on Earth. The forces of darkness have lost. And they do not accept the defeat. And even if the forces of shadow do not accept defeat, and this year they will, they will uh, bring destruction wherever they can and bring as much damage as they can this year, this is the last year they can do that. This is the last year, dark year on the, in the history of humanity. From next year, 2025, everything changes. All the astrologers of the world are saying that. All the channels, many channels and many quantities say the same. The forces that the, the, from next year, everything changes on planet Earth. 2025 is the big year of change, where the light starts to get complete control on the planet. This year is terrible. Next year, from next year, is the end. It's completely changed, complete change. And it will uh, grow until 2029 when the planet ascends, ascension of the planet, ascension of humanity into the fifth dimension. 2029, we are in fifth dimension. The planet is made of ether. Our bodies are made of silicium and crystal. We will live 300 years, no death, no pain, no suffering, no negativity, no wars, no dark karma, no negative karma, nothing. Uh, the light now has won, and uh, even if the dark forces this year will destroy, the forces of light know their plans, and they will block them. And forces of light are setting a trap, a trap to eliminate the dark forces. And uh, it's too late. When the dark forces will realize what the trap is, it's too late. They will, they will uh, fall and they will be eliminated. 
Humanity on this planet is about to make a, a leap, a shift, a jump of thousands of years, and it will do so only in the next six years. 2029 ascension of the planet, humanity will take place in another dimension. It will be, take place a renaissance of consciousness. We will have a renaissance of consciousness on planet Earth, where we will all achieve enlightenment. We will all have our DNA reactivated to 12 trends, and all 12 chakras open and activated. We will make a scary leap, enormous leap technologically and spiritually. We will all be clairvoyant, spiritually enlightened, and we will have enormous, incredible technologies, such as teleportation, curable diseases, rejuvenation of about 30 body, 30 years, clonation of a body. You can clone a body. You take a hair, you, you make another body in two seconds. They say they've, they've done it with a, with a ship. So they, for sure the uh, army has done it with men. Stargate, we will have Stargate that you uh, digit where you want to appear and you appear on the other side of the universe. Time machine, the uh, US Army has technologies more advanced 10,000 years than we have. Uh, the US Army has, the Navy and the Air Force has uh, eight kinds of time travel, nine kinds of uh, teleportation. We will have in six years cure of all diseases, including cancer and gene AIDS. We will have rejuvenation of the body, 30 year body, cloning of the body, Stargate time machine, travel at speed of light. We will, have, we will travel all over the galaxy, teleport, uh, transportation by magnetic fields. We will live for three to 500 years each. We will live three to 500 each. We will travel through the galaxy. We will live on Mars, Moon, Earth, Venus. We will have 12 planets. We will have replicators manifesting food and everything you want. You jump a button, you push a button, and everything that you want appears. Is the evolution of the 3D printer. We will not work. We will express, uh, spend all days expressing our artistic talents as do extraterrestrials who live creatively and spiritually in meditation or being creative all day. We will spend all the day like this. You play the flute, you go to swim, you jump, you go to, to a theater, you paint, you sing, you dance, you do meditation. So the planet Earth, which is already now one of the 12 DNA libraries of the galaxy, will become the Florence of the 16th uh, of the 16th, of the 15th under, of the Renaissance, of the galaxy, the planet of the Earth. The masters of Shambhala and the avatars, like Christ, will walk among us. We will be all in contact with God. There will be no need of religion, no need of politics, no need of any instrument or any media. The planet will be made of ether and our bodies will be made of silicon and crystal. From 2029, there will never be any more negativity on Earth, no more wars, no diseases, no darkness, no suffering, no negative karma. We will all be incarnated in one body, having all 12 chakras open and all 12 DNA and it is activated. So this is going to happen. I see this in the Akasha. The Akasha is the memory of the universe. I, I have uh, I per perceptions in meditation. I've done 30 years of meditation. I've done 27,000 hours of meditation in this incarnation. 30 years ago, I met my master and he said immediately that I was a great soul, a great being coming from the past and my, as extremely evolved from my past karma, very good karma, very high evolved. And he said, this boy is this close to Nirvana. And in fact, I went to the, and he told me to go to the spiritual center. I did, I went to the spiritual center. I stayed 12 years and I achieved liberation. Uh, uh, Nirvana. So, and now I'm teaching in Italy, and uh, I teach uh, lessons in Italian with the Mario Carabini in the school in Italy, and I also teach lessons with uh, Alfred Weber every week. Extra politics, uh, Alfred Weber. I teach. Uh, uh, tomorrow I have the second lesson, and tomorrow we talk about the spiritual hierarchies, and we talk about the, the evolution of man. The evolution of man has no end. It's uh, infinite. A, a man can become everything. A man becomes an angel, then archangel, archive, virtue, potestà, dominazione, tron, cherubini, serafini. Then he becomes the head of uh, a solar system, the father of a solar system. Then he becomes the father of 12 solar systems, and there's no end. Uh, there, there's a man now, there's a spiritual master in India who is already now archive, beyond archangel. Sai Baba, the master of Sai Baba, was an archangel. My master is an angel. 
A man can become anything. The most powerful master in uh, on planet Earth will be a sun. It will be a solar system. It will create a solar system. The most powerful man in the history of humanity on planet Earth. It will unite with the masters of the other planets, and they will create a new solar system. So this is the reality that we experience and we will experience. Everything is going to change. I see it very clearly that in 10 years, six years, six to 10 years, this planet is another planet. We will have, it, it will be, this is prehistory. They will talk about us as prehistory. Like the, uh, the Etatoretians say that we are their prehistory. And that's exactly what we are. So this is uh, the future of humanity. Spiritual enlightenment will be everybody, we will all experience spiritual enlightenment. We will all have our chakras open and we will have enlightenment and be clairvoyant. We will have the Christ consciousness. Christ is going to come back and he, in a couple of years, and he will bring complete peace on planet Earth. He will be the uh, the wave of love that I said that I said a few minutes ago. We will have the Christ consciousness, and we will be aware that we are one only entity. In the spiritual enlightenment is happening all over the planet. I say that I'm saying things after one month, the most uh, important channeler in France, Monique Mathieu, says the same. I said the uh, negative forces will be destroyed. After one month, she said negative will be destroyed negative energy. So people now have to do, you people do meditation. You do, you close your eyes, you go within, you bring the mind within. Every man has seven bodies. The teaching of meditation has not, the practice of meditation has not been introduced in the West. That's a very big mistake of the Master of Shambhala. The, practice, the knowledge of certain bodies has not been introduced in the West. Another mistake. Every man has seven bodies, and uh, every man, seven bodies, physical body, etheric body, uh, astral body, mental body, cause of body, spiritual body, divine spirit body. The seven body is God. Every man is God in his seven bodies, seven chakras, seven separate uh, Man is a manifestation of God, and we will all uh, become aware of it in the next six years. We will jump ahead 10,000 years in the next 10 years, and we will have Christ consciousness on the planet. That's the second coming of Christ, that we will have all the awareness that we are one. So the people on the planet can do meditation, repeat Om Namah Shivaya all the time, a loud voice. Om Namah Shivaya opens all the chakras. Namah Shivaya Om are the six chakras. Om Namah Shivaya. Repeat the loud voice. Om Namah Shivaya. Yeah, Repeat if I may just uh, stop you right there. You did actually, on Alfred Weber's um, Omniverse channel, there was a recent video where you actually did a meditation with that chant, right? Isn't that right? So I just want to point that out. So if anybody wants to uh, do a meditation with you, they can just go to that um, interview that you did with Alfred where you did that chant, right? Yes. Yeah. So uh, you do meditation, do 
nothing exists. When I achieved nirvana, I achieved enlightenment. There are many levels of enlightenment. In the year 2000, I achieved enlightenment. And my master said to me, you are enlightened. I am not there. What does it mean? It took me 19 years more to achieve it, nirvana. Complete void, nothingness. Why did the Buddha call his final uh, enlightenment nirvana, which means dissolution, extinction? Because I have achieved it. Because it is the realization that nothing exists. And that's the awakening. And that is God consciousness. This is God consciousness. Nothing exists, only an infinite black hole filled with consciousness, which is Shiva. Shivoham, I am Shiva. Aham Brahmamsi, I am Brahman. Tatuamasi, you are that. So we are Shiva. Only Shiva, nothing exists, only Shiva. Everything is Shiva. Shiva is infinite consciousness. Everything is permeated with infinite consciousness. If I see the tree, there's no tree. I look at the, the, the room, there's no room. It's a black hole. I look at the person, it's empty. I look at the tree, it's empty. The Buddhists called it the realization of emptiness. The Buddhists say that enlightenment is the realization of emptiness. And I have achieved that. It took me 19 years more after enlightenment. There's a difference between enlightenment and nirvana, a way final awakening. Enlightenment, for 20 years I used to see the blue pearl, the white pearl. The blue pearl is the sixth body, the spirit. The white pearl is the God inside everything, the white pearl. But the things were existing and the blue pearl was not me. Now the things do not exist anymore and I am the white pearl. So now nothing exists except me. Only I exist. The guru of my guru used to say, you only exist, you only exist. Nothing exists except you. The extraterrestrial from the players say, at the end of your spiritual study, you will realize that nothing exists except you, and you are infinite creator. The raw material, read the raw material, the law of one, in internet is the most important organization of history, the raw material, the law of one, says you are infinite creator. Look at the mirror, you are God, infinite creator. You are light, love, you are everything. So this is the realization of man. Every man has seven bodies. First body is the physical body, second body, etheric body, third body, the astral body, the emotions of dreams, the body that when you dream, when you dream, you use that body. Fourth body is the mind. The mind is a contraction of prana in the heart. The mind is not in the head. In the head, there is your spirit in the lower part of the brain and the spirit of God in the higher part of the brain. Shiva, Brahmananda, Nityananda. God dwells in the higher part of the brain in the state of consciousness of etheric, eternal bliss, which is my name, Nityananda, eternal bliss. Fifth body, the coastal body at the throat, deep sleep. Sixth body, the spirit, ecstasy, in the lower part of the brain. Seventh body, divine spirit, Shiva, eternal bliss, state of consciousness. So these are, <coughs> these are the state of consciousness of man. Wake, dream, deep sleep, ecstasy, eternal bliss. My master is in eternal bliss all the time. Seven chakra. And he's constantly, and he can get out of his body any moment. So this is the situation. Each one of you is multidimensional. Each one of you is in this moment on many thousands of planets and dimensions at the same time. And all of your incarnations are simultaneous. All your incarnations are simultaneous. Your, your 10,000 incarnations ago is now. Your future incarnation is now. Each one of you has done 8,400,000 incarnations, mineral, 
vegetal animal men of which men thousands few thousands men as men i have done 15000 incarnations as men this is my last one so multidimensionality each one of you is a multidimensional being your spirit is projecting souls all over the universe all over the galaxies all over the dimension i come from the sixth dimension from sirius my master told me that i come from sirius sixth dimension the, we have come to planet Earth to help. I am an Indaco child. Then you have the crystal children who are the future of humanity. They are born now. So this is the future of humanity. These are the crystal children. Now the channelers and contactees that I acknowledge are the channelers. Monique Matteo. Looking on YouTube, Monique Matteo, she channels Jesus, or the Sebastian, the angels, everyone. She's real, Monique Matteo. And she says, that one month after I said it, she said, I said that we have entered a new timeline, we will go into ascension. After one month, she said the same. She's saying the same thing that I say, so it means that I'm channeling the yeah, same entities that she's channeling. And Mike Quincy, uh, Sheldon Idol, uh, Rona, uh, Rona Herman, Matthew Ward, Derry Lanka, Bashar. That's all. All the other channels, I don't know like them. Contactees, Alex Collier, uh, and Barbara Massiniak also channel. Uh, Contactees, Alex Collier, Maurizio Cavallo, Marina, Marina Tonini. That's all. So these are the the channels and contactees. We have the Master of Shambhala, Shambhala, Agatha, and the Galactic Federation of Planet. Shambhala is the place where the masters, spiritual masters of the planet live, in the, in the Himalayas, in Tibet, and the Tariq Valley in Tibet, the Himalayas. Master of Shambhala, they are all incarnated now. Jesus in Syria, there's another master in Russia, another in the United States, another in China. Uh, uh, Shamba, uh, Agatha is the, plan, is the civilization inside the planet. Inside planet on Earth, there are seven civilizations, Hyperborea, Atlantean, uh, uh, Ashtar, we from the future, live inside the planet for the nation. And we're making sure that we make it to reach them. And this is happening. The light has won. We have achieved. We are safe and sound. There cannot be any destruction. There cannot be any nuclear war. And we're going to ascension in 2029. So I have achieved my mission. My mission as on this planet was to make sure that we don't destroy ourselves and we make it to ascend, and this is happening. So I will spend now the rest of my life on my, my other mission, to bring as many people as possible to enlightenment. So now I teach you the techniques to achieve enlightenment. The first is meditation. Meditation, you close your eyes, and you focus on the breath, or on the face of a master, Yogananda, Muktananda, Nityananda, Jesus, Buddha, and you concentrate on the face of the master, or you concentrate on the breath, or you concentrate on the void, simply void, black, black hole, or on the sky, or on the sun, or a candle. And you stay like this one hour a day, at least. I do, I've done for 30 years meditation, five to seven hours a day. I've done 27,000 hours of meditation in this incarnation. When my master saw me, I was 18, 30 years ago. He said, this boy is this close to Nirvana. He's almost without Samskara. Without samskara. samskara is uh, plus impression, impression of the mind. When you have no more Samskara, you achieve Nirvana. And I made it. It took me 26 years. So the another technique is repetition of Mantra Namah Shivaya. You chant on Namah Shivaya, or you repeat it in a loud voice, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. This, is, this technique includes all the technique. If you repeat on Namah Shivaya three to five hours a day, a loud voice, you do all the techniques. Uh, the breathing exercises is included when you repeat it. And meditation, because after you repeat it, you will fall into meditation. Because Onama Shivaya brings the prana to your head. Onama Shivaya awakes the Kundalini. Kundalini is the vital uh, force, the divine energy in man. Look, search in internet how to awaken the Kundalini with the K, Kundalini, and bring it to your head, to the seventh chakra. The Kundalini goes to the head and opens the seventh chakra, and you become God. The master of my master has become God. And he said when he achieved God, 
He says, when I achieved God, I realized that man is God. Sai Baba also says this teaching is man is God, God is man, but man does not know it. And my teaching is the same now. Man is God. Man, because there is no man. There is no universe. There is no human beings. So when I see him, a human being, it is God that is dreaming of being that form. So God dwells within you as you. You are not a man. You are God experiencing the experience of uh, being a man. The tree is not a tree. It's God experiencing, dreaming to be a tree. So man is God in human form. We are all Christ. We are all our Christ. We are going back to the original plan from Sirius. This planet was created by Sirius, and this is from Sirius, where I come from. And we created it to, to experience the Garden of Eden. And it was the Garden of Eden. It's written in the Bible. And we were all meant man to be like my master is now, Christ consciousness. Twelve strands of DNA activated. Twelve chakras open or activated. Full enlightenment. We are going back now to the original plan from Sirius. The Sirius created the entities from Sirius created the solar system, and they meant it to be Garden of Eden. And we are going back there. In ten years, we are Garden of Eden. We will be all Christ. So, uh, extraterrestrials are helping us. We are colonies from extraterrestrials. We are colonies. The Chinese are a colony. The white are a colony. The Indians, Americans come from the players. And we uh, are now living, going to be living like them. They ask them, how do you live? We live. The Sadrachians live their lives uh, as uh, uh, es expressing their divinity, their inner talents. And planet Earth is going to become the planet of the arts of the galaxy. Planet Earth is going to become the Florence of the Renaissance. We are going to have a shift, a renaissance on the planet. Master Shambhala, who created the renaissance, like Leonardo da Vinci, we are going to create it again. And it's going to be the planet, planet Earth will be the planet of the arts and the uh, talents of the galaxy. And it's already now one of the 12 libraries of DNA of the galaxy. And it will be the planet where, and I am the only one who says that, it will be the plan where the peace treaty, galactic peace treaty, will be signed, which will put an end to all the wars on the galaxy. And planet Earth will be, is becoming now a sacred planet, planet uh, which is already like Sirius. A uh, planet Earth, the soul of planet Earth, and the soul of Sirius as a very ancient love affair. The soul of planet Earth and the soul of Sirius. Uh, they have a very karmic, uh, strong karmic connection. For this reason, planet Earth is going to become a secret planet. Uh, the history of planet Earth is very complicated. I cannot say it now, it's too long. Uh, we come from all the galaxy, and we have to shift from darkness to light, and we made it. So now the situation between the forces of light and the forces of darkness is that the forces of light have won. The light has won. The match is over. Finished. Even this year, you will be a lot of darkness because the dark forces do not accept the defeat and they will destroy as much as possible. Don't worry, be strong. Next year is finished. This is the last year of darkness. So next year is finished. Only light, only love, only positivity, only goodness and compassion. We will be the planet of compassion and love. We will be the planet of unity in diversity. Unity in diversity. We are the only planet with many races. Every pla the other planet, they have one race only. And it took them, all the other planets, it took them 100 years to pass, to shift from darkness to light. We will do it in 10 years. In only 10 years, we will be complete, sacred planet, enlightened, fifth dimension, uh, positive energy only. Um, So the life on other planets is like we will have in 10 years. It will be, it is, fifth dimension. On, B, on Venus, they are in fifth dimension. Sirius B, they are in fifth dimension. Sirius A, they are in sixth dimension. And they live like this. They live every day in 
uh, in meditation and expressing their talent, artistic talent, and their creativity. Every man can become anything. Angel, my master has become an angel, he's already now an angel, uh, which means etheric. Angel means etheric body. Archangel means that he's using the astral body. Archai, mental body. There's two, Potestà, Dominazione, Tron, Cherubini, Serafini. It means which body you're using. My master now has shifted to etheric body, he's an angel. Sai Baba was an astral body. Guru, Avatar, Avatar. Angel, Archangel, Archai. Buddha, Bodhisattva, Yani Buddha. This is the hierarchy. Guru, Avatar, Avatar, Angel, Archangel, Archai, uh, Gu, uh, Buddha, Yani, uh, uh, Bodhisattva, Yani Buddha. My master is a Buddha. Sai Baba was a uh, Bodhisattva, Archangel, Mavatar Babaji is an Archai, Yani Buddha. Uh, Mavatar Babaji will become a son in this uh, cycle. He will be, he will go all the way. The Christ was originally a uh, uh, Archangel, he was a human being two cycles of universes ago. Now all the others of his class are Archangels. He did, he did four levels more than the others. Archangel, Archangel, Giusto, Potestà, Dominazione. He's a domination. The sixth hierarchy, uh, hierarchy, angelic hierarchy. He's uh, going to come back and he's the most powerful avatar that ever came. Jesus hosted in his body for three years two entities, the Christ, the Spirit of the Son, and the Logos. Spirit of the galaxy. The Logos does not come back. The Christ comes back in a couple of years. Jesus has already come back in the 60s, is now in Syria and Damascus. So the game is over. The light has won. Don't worry, about, don't give attention to what happens this year. Uh, it's finished, it's the end. And from next year, we will have the beginning of the shift to the light. And only in 2029, we will be thousands of years. It will be another planet. And in 2030, they will say, yes, till 2027, 28, we were prehistory. It's prehistory where we are now. And the extraterrestrials say, you terrestrials are our prehistory. So we are still in prehistory this year. From next year, we enter complete shift, complete, we jump ahead 10,000 years in the next 10 years. We will have incredible technologies. Uh, a human body will live 500 years, uh, every young, 30 years old. You, we will be 30 years old until we are 500 years. No, oh, no old age, no death. After 500 years, the person will simply change body and go to another planet and be born on, on Venus. We will live on Venus, Mars, Moon, Pax, a new planet, and planet Earth. We will have 12 planets, two suns. Jupiter is going to become a sun. We know that. It's known. Um, and uh, it will be a complete different reality. And we will see this, that we are living now, as a dream. We were dreaming. So this is the stage that we'll achieve in a few years. Instead of 100 years like the other planets, it will take us six to 10 years. And we will be the example of how a person can shift from darkness to light. All the universe is watching us. All the extraterrestrials from all the universe are watching us. It's the first time that the planet shifts from uh, the, from the old age, the dark age, to the new age, the Satya Yuga, the age of truth, the age of light. So I am the in Italy they call me the prophet of the new age. Uh, I'm I'm grateful. Uh, so, and it's spreading everywhere in Italy, my message. The message that I gave you, Andrew, uh, when I said uh, that my information is important, it has to reach millions of people, please share it as much as possible. If you can, put it on an email and send the email to radios and televisions and say this is a, a, simply, it's just a message from an Italian clairvoyant uh, that is known in Italy. 
they know me in Italy. I've done 60 videos on YouTube in Italian and in English. You can watch my videos on YouTube, Alberto Cogliani. You can contact me on Messenger, Alberto Cogliani. I've created a school. I've created 12, 30 uh, groups of meditation in Italy. We can create. My next step is that I will create groups of meditation all over the world. So now you understand, you, you're hearing me. You can contact me on, on Messenger and we can create groups of meditation. You do meditation. When you do meditation, it's not just to uh, feel peace in your heart uh, and to be in touch with your spirit, which is good, and with God, but you also understand reality. My master told me 30 years ago, you will understand through meditation what reality is. And reality is this. This is the final awakening. The highest level of enlightenment. Nothing exists except me. I am Shiva. Infant consciousness. <coughs> so this is my teaching. This is my information. And this is my sharing with you for today. Uh, the Christ is coming be before three years from now. Mabata Babaji has manifested. Sai Baba is coming back. All the Master Shambhala incarnated. So, do you have any questions, Andrew? Well, yes. Um, I guess uh, one question that I do have. Um, regarding how um, finances play into this. If, it tr if it's true that we're going to transfer, transform into a civilization um, thousands of years into the future within a matter of years, then money is no longer gonna be needed. Um, oh. However, when Donald Trump um, was, oh, I shouldn't say his name, it's because uh, I'm on YouTube. Oh, well, hopefully it won't be a problem. Um, he's supposed to be president, everybody says, uh, this November, and he was allegedly going to try to put America back on the gold standard before he was cheated out of his um, second term. That's why he hung a portrait of William McKinley in the White House um, at the end of his first term, because McKinley was known for putting America on the gold standard. Um, now, if Trump truly wanted to do that, uh, you would think that he would make it a mission out of, um, if he's going to be a, a two-term president this time, um, by becoming the next Grover Cleveland and serving a non-consecutive term th later this year, he has a duty, I would say, um, as president to finish off where his um, first term left off. Um, he, he has a duty to try to put America back on the gold standard in his first term instead of waiting until his second term like he was going to do with the first time he was president. He probably wanted to try to straighten everything out in his first term before putting us on the gold standard, but it never happened because he got cheated. So um, do you by any chance see anything like how is he, assuming he becomes the president, is he actually going to um, try Andrew, to make it a mission to put us on the gold standard in the first term rather than the second? Andrew, it's not, it is already happening is already happening please elaborate it is it is happening it is going to happen anyway there's not it's not uh, it's no more who is going to do it it's happening anyway because the white hats are doing it all right I'll trust you on that one. And of course, folks, don't let this um, information make you complacent. Do as much meditation and work as you can to make uh, this happen sooner rather than later. So, uh, it's happening. Yes. It's happening. All right. It's happening. Great. So I will upload this to YouTube, hopefully by uh, tonight. If not tonight, definitely by tomorrow. i uh, got to process it and all because I recorded it on my Skype recorder. So thank you very much, uh, folks. I hope to be making a return to radio. I know I've said that a couple times in the last few months, but something always turned thank up. Whether to, yeah, what do you want to say? Something. Uh, just to bless you, bless everyone. Do now. The only thing you have to do, people, because they always ask me, what should I do now in this moment? You have to do spiritual life, purity of heart, keep the mind. Uh, empty, 
Repeat Om Namah Shivaya from the morning to the evening. Do one, two, three hours of meditation every day. I do five to seven hours every day since 30 years. And if you do that, you develop intuition. I, am, I, I don't use the mind anymore. Since I achieved enlightenment, I don't use the mind anymore. What is enlightenment? No mind? Intuition? You feel connection with everything? You feel connected with your soul all the time? You feel enormous peace inside of you? You feel you dream the master? I dream the masters? I have had the master appear in front of me? My, and my master uh, I confirmed it. It's not my imagination. My master confirmed that Mavatar Babaji appeared in front of me. I see the master at night. I see the future. I feel what happens on the planet. I can read people's mind. I can feel everything that happens all the time. Uh, I see things that happen at a distance. Uh, I have intuition. I see the future. I can see everything is going to happen. Uh, at one person, I say, you will live, you will go to live in France and you will write books. And he said, oh, it's all my life that I dream of living in France and writing books. To another person, I say, you have a piece of metal inside your body. And she said, oh, yes, I did an operation that put a piece of metal inside my body. To another, I say, I know that you make use of heavy drugs. And he admitted it. So I, I can feel it, what happens. If I look at a person, I am the person. This is enlightenment. The final level of enlightenment, what you see is what you are. If I look at a person, I am that person. This is the seven chakra. So this is enlightenment. You will all be enlightened. You people that are hearing me now, <coughs> all of you will be enlightened. That's a matter of years. Do spiritual life. Yes, yes. God bless you. And bless you God too. Bless. Thank you very much. All right, take care. Namaste. Good luck to you. And um, I'll have this uploaded soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you.